hi there and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to see four native shopify apps that are game changers to any shopify store whether you are just starting out or you already have a store and you want to improve it these apps are amazing they will help you to improve your store user experience thus improve your sales so let's start before starting with our apps i want to take one moment of your time to invite you to sign up to the free workshop i'm currently offering in this workshop i show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in in order to make it sustainable and strong. Day after day, succeeding in e-commerce is becoming more and more difficult. And without setting up the right foundations for your business, it's impossible to succeed. That's why in this free workshop, I explain to you exactly what foundations you should have for your business and how you should be building them up in order to be able to attract, convert, and most importantly, retain more customers. This workshop is totally free. You just need to go to the description below to click on the link and to sign up and that's it. And now let's start with our topic. The first app we are going to talk about is Shopify search and discovery app. And as the name of this app suggests, it helps your customers to find and discover your products. And believe me, this can be a deal breaker, especially if you have a store with a large catalog. With this app, you can control three things on your store. First, the filters. Second, the search results. And third, the product recommendation. And I'm going to explain each of these points and how you can use this in order to improve your store. So let's start with filters. Filters are extremely important because when a customer lands on a collection page, usually they use filters in order to find what they are searching for. Let's say, for example, you have a clothing store. Having filters like colors, sizes, and styles will help your customers to navigate your collections and find the products or the things they are searching for. On the other hand, if you have a grocery store, for example, you can use filters in order to allow your customers to search by product type, by brand, by lifestyle, by diet style, and so on. If you sell a jewelry, for example, you might go with colors, with sizes, with metal type, and so on. For filters, you can use the standard filters that are available for any Shopify store, or you can go with product options that usually reflect your product variant. Or or you can take your filters to a totally next level by using meta fields. With meta fields, you can create custom filters for your store, only filters that make sense to your exact product. I always use meta fields for my filters, again, especially if I have a large catalog. If you want to know more about how to set up meta fields and how to use them as filters, I highly recommend you to check this video on my YouTube channel. The second way you can use this app in order to improve your store is through the search results. This app allows you to modify, or let's say to improve your search results through two different ways. The first way is by creating synonym groups and the second way is by boosting products. Let's start with the synonym groups. This feature is actually a game changer. It aligns your product descriptions with the language your customers use in order to describe the product. Say a customer types joggers instead of typing sweatpants. In this case, you can modify the search results to show the right products to them. Now moving to the second way you can modify your search result and it is through product boosts. With this tool, you can choose to highlight or push one of your products when someone types a certain keyword. Let's say, for example, you sell yoga outfits and you want to highlight or push one of the products on your store. Maybe you have a lot in stock and you want to get rid of them. So what you can do is to boost this product through the search results. So you set this within the app. So every time someone search for yoga outfits, they will see this product first. Now moving to the third thing this app helps you do, and it is to change or modify your product recommendations. Through this app, you can define complementary products and product recommendations for each of your product. So it's exactly like saying to your customers, hey, you like this product, so most probably you are going to like this one. By setting up the product recommendations yourself, you can make sure that those recommendations make sense and you can make sure that they are performing better. This should help you to increase your average order value because you are literally pushing your customers to add more products to the cart. You can even check how your product recommendations are working using Shopify Analytics. And in this way, you can see the difference when you started setting up the recommendations yourself or maybe improve them over time. And finally, let's not forget about Analytics. This app gives you valuable insights about how your customers are navigating your store. By reading Analytics about, for example, search results and stuff like that, you can make sure that you are improving your store based on data and analytics and that you are not doing any guesswork. 
now moving to our second app and it is Shopify email. If you are one of this channel subscribers or if you have ever watched any of my previous videos, you know how much I focus on email marketing and about the importance of staying in touch with your customers through emails. Well, the app I'm talking about now is Shopify emails and it allows you to send campaigns to your customers and it's for free for the first 2,500 emails. So if you are just starting out, it's amazing. It's free. With this tool, you can create amazing emails. You can include your customers' names. You can give them recommendations. You can offer discounts and so on. You can use emails to announce the launching of a new product or a new sale, or maybe to simply just be in touch with your customers. Shopify emails is a very easy app to use. And now I'm going to show you how to create your first email using this app. So here I am inside of my Shopify store. And as you can see, now I have two options. Either I start by creating automation or I start by creating a campaign. I will start first with campaigns, so I will click on create campaign. And from here, Shopify is taking me, or the app is taking me to a place where I can set up my default. So the logo, the store name, the typography, the colors. This is extremely helpful because it means that all of your emails will be branded and you don't need to set up these every time you want to send a new email. I'm gonna keep them as they are and I'm going to click on next, but sure for your business, for your store, set them up properly. So after next, as you can see in here, you can find multiple templates that you can choose from. Either you go in here and filter by like the type, or you can even check out your old templates and use one of them. I will go with, let's say product highlights. As you can see, we have these options. If you go with promotions, we have these options. Let's go with this one and click on select. Now we will be able to modify your email. And by the way, you could have started by from scratch by starting with like a blank email and build it up yourself. Since this is a trial store, I have this notice, but you wouldn't be seeing this if this is a real store. And from here, as you can see, you can either choose to see the desktop preview or you can choose the mobile preview. And this is also extremely important because in this way, you will make sure that your um, emails are also mobile friendly. You start first by deciding like the audience in here. You can go in here, put the subject line, the preview line, and you can put the from. For the from email, you need to use your professional email. For the subject line, you need to have a clear call to action explaining what this email is about. When you scroll further down, you see the email sections. And as you can see, when you click on each section, you can either delete it, duplicate it, or move it around. And you can modify the, uh, like the things about this section from the right uh, corner in here. You can move down below, for example. Let's say I want to remove this one and so on. If, if I want to add a new section, I can click here on add section and simply choose between the available sections. And that's it. It's a super easy app. You can like create your emails within seconds. The most important thing that you need to focus on is to make sure that your email is clear, that you have a one clear to action in each email. So customers will understand why you are sending this email. If you are offering a discount, just talk about the discount. If you are launching a product, just talk about the product and so on. As you can see, creating emails with this app is super simple. And not only that, you can even track your campaign's performance live. It's a super easy to use app and it's perfect for beginners. Now moving to our third app and it is Shopify Bundles. This is one of the newest Shopify updates and it's an update that I have been waiting for for years. Well, finally, we can create bundles directly on Shopify. You can create your bundles in minutes and Shopify will be taking care of the inventory. So you don't need to worry about overselling any of your products. And not only that, when you create your bundle using this app, your customers can choose between the different product options, sizes, colors, and so on. This means they can customize their bundles to their needs. Creating bundles will help you to improve your store average order value. And this app is totally free, so I highly recommend you to start using it now. So here I am again inside of my Shopify store, and this is the app installed. What I need to do is to click on create bundle. And from here, I need to name this bundle. So let's say it's going to be yoga outfit plus accessories. For sure, for your bundle, pick a smarter title than this one. And I'm going to click on select products, and I will uh, choose, for example, this one plus this one plus this one as my bundle. So now I'm bundling three products. Uh, I have the quantity from each product. It's one, one, one. I can, I can change the quantity. I can choose which options are available, like which variants are available within the bundle. And I will click on save and continue. So now Shopify is creating a new product for me, which is the bundle. So this is a new product. Here I have the title. I can add the description. I can add photos for the product and so on. 
and I can see the bundle in here. I can change everything like I'm changing a normal product on Shopify and I can finally like change the prices if I want, if I want to offer a small discount or something and that's it, the product or the bundle will be published and you can start selling it on your store. Now moving to our final app and it is Shopify Flows. I have talked before about Shopify Flows on this YouTube channel, but Shopify Flows are amazing. First, you can use them to create your emails automation like welcome flows, abundant cart flows, post-purchase flows and so on. But not only that, Shopify Flows can help you with more complicated things and more advanced things. With Shopify Flows, you can automate tasks like, for example, adding a customer to a loyalty program or tagging a customer with a certain tag when they purchase a certain product or notifying you when you receive a negative review. You can browse the infinite templates this app offers and choose what works for your business and what can help you to save money and time. So here I am again inside of Shopify and this time we are going to see how to use the Shopify flows. Well, uh, you can start by either creating your own flow or by browsing templates. I recommend you to start with the pre-made templates because it's easier to start from there, especially if you are just starting out with this app. If you scroll down, you will see like some of their featured like uh, template, like capture payment if order is not high. Uh, fraud risk, get notified when product variant inventory is low, get a daily summary of orders that missed the two-day fulfillment window and so on and you can click on see all templates to choose from them. Okay, let's say we are going to choose this one, get notified when an order is out. So you click in here, this is the template. You can like work on this or you can click on customize it. As you can see, for each flow we have first the trigger. So when this flow starts, we have like a filter in here and we have the action. Okay, so this flow starts when quantity is low. This is the conditions of what we consider as a low quantity and this is the action we want and it is to receive an email about this product. So email, this is the subject line and this is the content. The final thing you need to do is to turn on workflow and your workflow will be set up. Okay, I need to fill the information, that's why it wasn't set up and your email is set up. This app doesn't only help you to save time, but it also helps you to become more efficient and thus focus more on growing your business. So that's it for this video. As you can see, the four Shopify apps we have talked about are extremely important and they will greatly help you to improve your store and increase your sales. So I highly recommend you to start using them now. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below. And before leaving, I want to invite you to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time I publish a new video. And don't forget to sign up to the free workshop I'm offering because through this workshop, you will know how to create a strong, sustainable e-commerce business. See you next week. Bye bye.